Man, it's your big homie Butter, man. You know, tuning in to this visionary image right now, man. Here to the streets, man. What's happening? What I want you to do first off, just introduce yourself. Man, uh, I go by Butterball, you know. Um, Crosstown alumni, everybody know me for that, man. Uh, Mr. Uh, Two Shots of Tequila, Mr. Already, bro. Uh, whatever you want to call it, but uh, that's your name, Butter, man. And, uh, <sighs> hey. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. How, how did you get the name Butterball? Man, uh, long story, man. Uh, when I, my grandma actually gave me that name, man. She said when I was born, I was uh, plump like a butterball turkey, man. So, you know, that really, you know, stuck to me, man. And um, I actually got another nickname. Uh, my grandfather, he called me Sham. Shamrock. <laughs> See, that's the first time I heard that one. Yeah, you know, anybody know that, though, man. You first person to hear it, though, you know, but Shamrock, man. But uh, butterball, my grandma gave it to me, man, so when I was born. And um, it stuck with me to the point where people call me by my real name. I don't even answer because it's an unfamiliar sound. I'm talking about all through school, preschool, on up, butter, butter ball. That's how they call it. I ain't know nothing else, man. So just stuck with me, man. All right, where are you from and how was it growing up? Man, you familiar with Cross Town? Yeah. Okay, well, uh, here in Lawton, that's the uh, side of town that I. Up and see back then, like you know, where I grew up, I was surrounded by nothing but a lot of rappers got that same story. But this, this is facts. I was surrounded by nothing but dope, <laughs> pimping and pamping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, junky, man. You know what I'm saying? So it was really, it wasn't hard because I didn't understand. I was a kid, you know what I'm saying, growing up, so it really went hard because, you know, when you're a kid, you don't have those same struggles, like, you see your parents go through, you know what I'm saying, until you get older, then you realize what happened, but, you know, as a kid, I had fun, though, man, like, you know, it was a group of us together, man, uh, we was, you know, it was fun, man, nice little lifestyle, man, um, got in trouble a lot, I did, you know, uh, you know, made some dumb decisions, <laughs> you know, just a typical kid, though, yeah, you know, every man, kid, yeah, every kid, kid, man, and, uh, what age were you when you wrote your first rap and what was it about? My first rap. I had to be I started doing music when I was like five or six for one. Um I was playing the guitar. My favorite person in the world at that time was Michael Jackson. And I liked the blues. I don't know who it was, man. Who, who it was. Johnny, who the Johnny? It was the blues, though. So I used to take my little guitar. I had like a couple of strings. I used to hit it and make the doom, 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 doom. Right. I used to make little freestyles off that, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Um, but uh, when I wrote, when I first got in the studio and really wrote my first song, I had to be about 11. At that time. Do you know what? Do you remember what it was about? Holla, holla, man. Give me my dollar, man. <laughs> That's all I remember right there. If you miss me, I'm talking about shoot your mama, man. I can't play it like you old, young. You young. Yeah, I'm talking about shoot mamas and stuff, man. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I'm about 10 or 11, man. Yeah. What rapper did you listen to that influenced you to start rapping? Cause you know every artist sometimes have a rapper that uh, they they listen to and they back Twister. then Twister, okay. Twister, Bone Thugs and Harmony, and T Rock. See, a lot of people don't know who T Rock is. You know, T Rock was with um, the hypnotized mind camp back in the day. Right. You know, from Atlanta, everybody thought he was from Memphis, but he right. really was from Atlanta. That man go hard. I want a verse from him right now. He's still doing the thing too. I'll be I'll be following him and stuff too. Shout out to T Rock, man. But uh, them three and uh, my mama. Your mom. 
Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, my mom, man, she she used to rap. She was coming. We go to job corps stuff. She be in the studio. She would come back from job corps, and she the first person that I've known, like physically, physically touched, and have a CD out or a tape out. You feel what I'm saying? It was a tape back then. You know what I'm saying? So, man, that's my mama right there. Give me shout outs on the man. I was like, dang, my mom out here hard. You know that's that's what really just told me just you know, gave me that little juice, man. If it was a comparison, who do you compare your rap style to? Rap style to? If it was a comparison. If you had to compare yourself to any rapper, get your style. It'd be, it'd be, it'd, it'd be a collage, though, man, because I just can't pinpoint one person. But if I had to compare it, though... Okay, say say your top three, cause you my get very, your variations. You cause right, you come right. with different styles. So. Yeah, I do. Okay, my top three, man. I would have to say. I'm going to touch on this little subject a little bit. Can you speak on the Oklahoma hip-hop scene, what it is right now? Right now, man, I'm going to be real. Um, it's a lot of artists out here in Oklahoma that's bomb. I always look at it as Tulsa has the hustle, Oklahoma City has the look, and Long has the talent. I always look at it like that. But it's sad. It's, it's no culture here. You feel what I'm saying? It's no culture, man. It's no culture to, if an artist say he's an artist, he can't really blossom here because they won't, don't nobody allow it. It's no support. You feel what I'm right. saying? It's no, and, every, and it's, it is everybody against everybody for one. You feel me? Like you can go to Georgia right now and all of them getting money together. All of them unified. You go to Houston right now. All of them right, getting money right, right, right there. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. Here is no culture. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody had everybody. Everybody figured like they, just because you get 1,000 more views than this next person, you know what I'm saying? He's supposed to down. It's no, it's no, it's no culture, man. And it's, like I said, it's a lot of fire artists out here, man. And it's a lot of trash, too. It's a lot of trash, man. It's a lot of that mumble stuff. Right. A lot of that. <laughs> I, I, and, and some of it I hear is, it's almost, People are getting on the same repetitive. It's one big song. Yeah, it sounds the same. Yeah, one one cadence, one one, one riff. It's the same. It's, it's one. You going? You turn it on the radio right now, man. I promise you, it's one long song. That's and that runs into my next question. When you rap, uh -huh. do you ride the rap wave that's kind of out right now? No, nah, man. Because uh, even if I, I, I've tried it and it wasn't me, so it's like. I just do me, man, because I let the beat, I'm sort of weird, you know what I'm saying? I let the beat talk to me, you feel what I'm saying? I don't just because the way they rapping is popular right now, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to take that same cadence mm -hmm. and put it on my music. Then that won't be butter. You know right. what I'm saying? That won't be me. His eyes make sure he a fish. Fuck with big homie, my name's gonna kill him. That is my word, put that on my children. I've been like this since I was little. 580.